Two days ago, there were tornadoes in Oklahoma. After years of trying to get this shot, a storm chaser used a drone to capture some remarkable video of a tornado that was on the ground for several minutes. That twister did not cause any damage or injuries. Researchers in Boulder are currently working on ways to use drones for a special research project on tornadoes. Nine News meteorologist Corey Repenhagen got a chance to learn more about their plans. Launching in three, two, one. Today, under clear skies, good climbing. This is just a drill. In less than two weeks, throttle off. The CU drone team will be flying four of these fixed wing drones into supercell thunderstorms in Tornado Alley. And the goal is to study severe storms to try to understand what leads to the formation of tornadoes. Amazing video shot by a quadcopter drone in Oklahoma on Tuesday shows unique video of a tornado. But Professor Eric Fru says their drone will hunt bigger tornadoes in more violent storm conditions. That's why this type of drone is needed. A fixed-wing aircraft is able to handle the gusty conditions in the storms a lot better than a multi-rotor. So we actually don't know the limits of this drone's behavior, and we haven't reached them yet. Meteorologists have learned a lot about tornadoes in recent years, but one of the biggest mysteries is why some supercells produce tornadoes while similar supercells do not. Only about 27% of tornado warnings lead to an actual tornado. The best scenario for us is that half the time we're out there, the storms we're studying produce tornadoes, half the time they don't, so we can compare what's different. Fru says the ultimate goal of tornado research is to increase lead time for warnings, which on average is just 14 and a half minutes. He believes that science can double or even triple that number. Imagine how much safer society can get with that extra 45 minutes of time. In Boulder, meteorologist Corey Repenhagen, 9 News.